listening to the amateur show on your local mm. station, 88.6 Plenty Valley FM. He, he just heard the intro. I just explained it to him. Uh, but uh, Cam Venice here is a com- uh, comedian. And how are you yeah. going? Good. How are you going? Good. Uh, this is my first interview, if you can't tell, by wow. the setup with the with the uh, mic sock and no headphones. Oh, yeah. I, got no, I, don't, I, I prefer no headphones. It's good. Because it, it does kind of go, it get like that. So when... Um, like you, you're taught to have all all this preparation, and um, you just never have it. Like I've yeah. got, I, like I go to outside broadcast and that, and do do stuff like that as well. Mm. And the, the, you have the interview all these people, and you try and go up these the, the cheat sheets like we have now. And it's like you can never do it. You can't do it all. You no. can't. So well, we're here. We're here. Yes. We're we're air, air conditioned. Very yes. lovely. Very uh, lovely to be here. It's, um, almost 40 degrees. And I'm a bit back home. It looks like I'm from um, New South Wales, mm. the north coast, and, and I, here and there get on, getting up to 40 degree weather. We're, we're near, I think, near it we're, today. We're, we're getting close. And yeah. and, yeah, so. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, uh, so, winner of the International uh, in, Melbourne International Comedy Festival 2018. Uh, Best Independent Show, um, winner of West Australian Tour 2018, nominated Best Comedy Fringe 2018. Have we got anything updated? That was a big year, 2018. Yes. <laughs> a lot happened. It, now well, we're in 2024 and, you know. And, and think, what a different time. <laughs> what a different time. <laughs> different time. The world has changed. But pre, Pre-COVID. Yeah. It was a good time. And, and you can imagine, you, you go do things now, everyone's all, all in, <laughs> you're all in fear if you go outside. And, That's it. And I, I, when, when, I first, when I first moved here, I was here probably, uh, I, I came in 2020 just before, like two months before. Right. And uh, it's amazing. So you, you walk around here and you see everybody about, then you just, and then lockdown happens, you go down the street and you see everything, it's all, it's all different and mm. people are scared if you do that and mm, mm, mm. people are scared of you. Yeah. So. I think it's the, the now we're kind of starting to breathe a bit easier and um, like this show I couldn't have done in the last few years because it's so interactive. There's so much audience on stage, there's so much props. So, but now it's a bit so, like, yeah, yes, a bit you more are a, a prop actor and there's a lot of things that I, that I was reading up a on. A prop actor, that's um, good. Well, I like well, that. Well, 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 I don't even know <laughs> no, how to say no, That's it. true, I do use a lot of props. There's a lot of props, there's a lot of... Yeah. Um, uh, New, new, I guess nudity in, in the show. There or is partial nudity. Yep. Like for all the all the nudity. What the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to describe what my shows really are. Um, sometimes I say they're like kids shows for messed up adults. Um, Which is me. <laughs> yeah, great. That's just me. So, so yeah. that's why I'm like that. And it's interesting. So I've been been here a few years, uh, four years now, mm. and every time it's. Every time it, it, the uh, Melbourne Comedy Festival comes up, it's very it it always just creeps up on you. It's always just mm. there, yeah. just it's there, ready to go. Yeah. But it's 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 a good thing about it. It's for at least a whole month, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yep. And there's so many shows. It's like there's more than five hundred shows or something. Like so much good stuff on. So um, I'm, I'm going to give you the floor. So we got to get get some stories out of you. What, what, what can you what can you tell? What do you want to know? That's that's a lot of pressure. Um, yeah, what, what, that, that, that is a lot of pressure. That, yeah. that's, this is my first interview too. So uh, oh, yeah, you know, sweet. But yeah, well, I, well, I, even, I haven't done a lot of interviews either, so I don't know how this works. It's, it's, we're just we're just winging see, it. The reason for the I call it the amateur show was, yeah. was the, originally to cover up my inexperience. <laughs> right. It's, right. It's, it's, yeah. it's, there's no cover action. it up by like blatantly <laughs> labeling it and doing. Like oh well, it mustn't actually we'll, be. We'll see. So if I screw up, yeah. something on the weather, something. It's all talking, part of the act, right? Yeah, it, 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 yeah. I can get away with it. Yeah, it's all <laughs> ironic. It's not actually amateur, but actually, yeah, well, right. well, a little <laughs> bit. So, and, and, and crazy thing is, so when I first started getting into radio, and I did, mm. uh, I there's a system that they do here that's a bit different. Back mm. at home, uh, it was a bit different when you just came in and did shows. So uh, I came in and recorded the show. Mm. Uh, like full out, oh, did, the song, did the song, everything, oh, yeah, and, and that's, I had that's to. Put a lot the, less so what I we're did, live. People are listening to this yeah, right now. Yeah. So, but this was <laughs> this, this, this wasn't recorded. So I have I have them on me, but I don't have it. But I 
when I put it out there. But mm. um, I had to think of so- put songs together and everything, just yeah. just a full show, just to get used to it. And it had yeah. to be at least an hour. Mm. So it was originally called the Amateur Hour. Ah, that's what I what I. <laughs> but now you it. doubled it. Now you do two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't call the Amateur two well, hours. Well, see, that, that's with um, with the station. A lot of the shows here. I think there's. I think the country show is the only one that does three hours. Right. There might might be another one. I'm, well, I'm, you need when you do country, you need yes. that extra oh, hour. But he get he gets a lot of. Listen, that's really? ha- Harry T. By Harry the way, T. it's on uh, Saturday. Uh, Saturday. Shout out Harry T. Yes, country music. So, so you heard that Harry? You, you, <laughs> yeah. you Harry's listening. listening. Harry's out in the in the foyer. He's always here. He lives here. <laughs> oh, I wish. You, I don't. I don't even know why I'm looking. I at tried there. to like, get I, some uh, yogurt from the fridge, and Harry was like, "Get out of that, my yogurt." Like, like, you, you won't see it on radio, but I'm very visual when I when I talk. Like, I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm I saw very, you did a little point thing before. I'm, I'm like, very much a talk with my that. hands. He, he's looking out that that way. Like, there's no reason for me to do it. Yeah, and and I. And I do this when you gotta no get on TV, too, bro. So you, you, you're, you're made for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you do. That's what happened. That's that's how you know people are animated too. It's like, well, yeah, it, it, that's, yeah. That's well, I do physical theater and comedy, so I'm not like a talker either. You know, I do have a podcast with my brothers. Shout out, Brothers Milk. Yeah. Um, but where that's also like talk about amateur hour like yes. that's like we got like three listeners of that i think who were well, who just like our <laughs> school friends you know when i originally did podcasting it was it was um well so i did a re- wrestling podcast mm. but i also did a show called um so, so that's the, the Sky Sky Gene show. You, you can't get it anywhere nowadays because right. it's a, it was a it's thing ba- where it's banned. Well, it's banned it's, in all countries. It's more a thing where I've uploaded it stuff and you had to pay to have it up there. Oh, and, and the you thing just expired for and, it. and then it's just gone. <laughs> wow! So there's no you didn't value it enough to keep that <laughs> subscription. And, and then because I had it on um, on the terabyte hard drive. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, and one day, dropped it. Dropped in the toilet. No, no, I just dropped it on the ground, and it's, okay. it's just as simple of like that. Yeah, and done. All gone. That show's dead. Dead. There's no, there's no. Those fans out there. But there was also a show called The Final Wish After Party, oh. which what I used to do, mm. and so this is probably a scaled down PG version of that. Mm-hmm. This but, show is. Yes, so. Okay. But. Um, See, they, they used to go into really deep stuff. It's because it was podcasting. Mm. Yeah, you can do whatever th- on podcasts. nothing off limits. Say I mean, whatever you it, want. I, I, don't need, I don't think I can even mention the stuff that I did now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. But here we're PG. I mean, do, will we get in trouble we about talking about nudity? Um, Maybe if we say it too many times. Like... See, mm, I don't know. No. I mean, if there's nudity in the show, I yeah, mean, it's there's contextual. nudity in the show. Yeah, they, I, I mean, can't that, help that's that. not. Yeah. I think it's more if you talk, talk about the body parts. Hey, I, I went to. <laughs> okay, I went won't to, get into details. I decided about the to pop out mine. Right. Yeah. Nude. None of that. None of that. <laughs> so that's, yeah. that's what I was uh, yeah. we'll talking before. And yeah. there's a thing about um, something B deep. Yes, so, my first show. And, well, can't we, even say the title we, we of my first we show. We can't say it. <laughs> wow. But, like, you know, you, you can bounce them, you can throw them. What about this, the title of my second show, the one that won the awards, is Charles Horse Lays an Egg. Is that okay? I don't even know what that means. So <laughs> well, I I'll tell you what, <laughs> it is literal. <laughs> I, I'll say this, like, um, I'm so um, bad. Like, there'll, there'll be stuff... Um, like uh, they'll be the things that they'll be deemed racist. I don't even know, know was racist. Like the term, like the term monkey. Wow, like, that's look, contextual. I'm, I'm thinking animal. you're allowed to talk about monkeys. Yeah. That's fine. I, I'm thinking, but when you talk about a human being, yeah. that's, that's I, I'm different. thinking animal. It's contextual. It's and then contextual. someone says, I think it wasn't until I watched the movie on something, and and they were referencing it throughout the thing, and they'll call call someone that, and it's like. I was like, okay, I didn't even know that was a term, a term of uh, yeah. racial term until I saw that movie. And mm-hmm. it's like, oh. <laughs> it's contextual. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And now you know. I, if I you call me know. a monkey, I'll be offended. Oh, so I, I, will not, <laughs> I will not be calling anyone that. Unless the context's right, then I don't mind. Because I do like to fling my own bananas. Uh, but- Fair enough. So, um, so back to you asked me to tell some stories. So I don't know. I'll talk about the show because who's this guy on the radio, Cam Van? Um, so, yeah, my last show, my- Charles Sauce Lays an Egg, was about an astronaut who had to lay an egg to save the world. Short story. 
Um, okay, so there's a story to these shows. These shows have stories, yeah. So okay. this show is the, my new show, Shark Eyes, which is on at Comedy Fest in a few weeks. Um, it's it's a real, like, well, it's like best a best friend's story of separation and reuniting. It's, um, it's a heist. It's like... Imagine, like, your best friend who's a total idiot, right, but he's lovable and charming yeah. and he's seen every heist movie ever, right? And then he's like, right, I've made it. I've made a movie, right? And so he gathers all his friends to see the movie, but it's not a movie. Like, it's this, a live this show. This sounds like me, by the way. Right. Uh, a lot, a lot of like me. You're so going to love be, this show. I'll, I'll be like, um, well, I did the show, Antonio. <laughs> hey, here's the show. This is what it's about. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but that's the same thing. If I did a movie, I'd do the same thing. Hey, this yeah. is a movie. And it's like, well, yeah. <laughs> and so then, yeah. So then, it's 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 me acting it all out. Like I've got, all, I've made my own props. Like I've got all the costumes, and like, and then I'm getting the audience members to help me, you know, be different characters. And but it's a it's a it's an epic. Like as far as as I believe, it's the greatest heist movie on stage ever, which I think it is, and it's also maybe idiotic. Yeah. But, so this yeah. this is the show that's coming to Melbourne, or yeah, it's on at the Motley Bauer House in. What's well, opens on Tuesday, March twenty sixth. Yeah, on to cool. April tenth. So yeah. So with the, these, do you get to see the other acts that go on with the oh, I, I never don't been yeah, to the, yeah. actually been to the festival. So who who's who's one that you've actually been enjoying? Um, well, some, I'm in the really of? keen to see Belinda Anderson Hunt's show. Like I just love everything she does online and everyone seems to be loving her show. She just did Adelaide and um but I've never actually seen I did a like a variety night with her and she did a spot. Um, but I haven't seen like a full show, so I'm excited. She's on, she's on before me at Motley, so I'll wait till my show's a bit running, and then when I'm not so nervous before the show, I'll go see her. Um, and then Sharice is after me doing what's her show? I think it's called Fruition. It's all about fruit, so I'll see her. Um, so Motley Bass is good. It's like there's a few theaters there, and it's it's a bit of a hub. Like I think there'll be a lot of cool sort of theatery, clowny, um, physical theater fun shows because I'm not that into stand-up like yeah. I get into it you know but, but it's kind of that's kind of the thing so with and th- there was a point at one stage there was comedy and they just did just did a lot of jokes mm. and then you hear somebody like Andy Kaufman who was a big big yeah it, it was big performance and he yeah. was sort of the innovator of mm. some, something like that oh yeah Love and, Andy. and a lot of that sort of come into play where you got uh ba- bands coming and singing songs mm. uh you got um it's like it's it's a variety like like a Mm. Like, like with anything, anything you kind of want in entertainment or comedy, mm. it's a variety, and it's a lot. It's something that I think uh, is definitely needed in the world. Yeah, and I love Andy. Like that, that crossover between like, what's going on? Like, is this real? Is this like a joke? You know, and I love it, that. And that he did line. it to make people angry. I want to say, I want to say the other <laughs> word. Uh, I want to say the other word, but yeah. um, I can't. But, um, yeah. He, but he did it to make people angry, and he did sometimes. And he, yes, and I think it was more f- for him. Yes, it was, it more was play for him. him. And then if you got it, it's the best thing ever. Yes. But if you don't, you're like, what is going on? Absolutely. Yeah, and I think probably there's there's little bits of that to my show. Like I don't want to make people angry. Like I love. And I, I rely so much on the audience, so I, I need them on my I'm a bit different. Team. I like to annoy people. Do you? I, I'm so, like... Um, <laughs> really? Oh, my God. It's stuff on Twitter. Someone says something stupid and yeah. I'll, just put, I'll put something in just, just oh, to make... Oh, you're a troll. I am. I'm the big... Wow. I'm a big it's troll. It's all I'm you. Big, and you're see, the one and behind. See, and see, it doesn't matter. So, um, say you're going for a football team. I, I, don't, mm. I don't know AFL. Uh, so, a, a, NRL team. So, you got Bulldogs and, um, and Storm. Right. So there'll be a heap of Bulldogs fans. Yep. I will go and stir them up for wow. about how I'm a Storms fan You're evil. and whatever. But then on the flip side, <laughs> huh. a heap of Storm fans. You'll just <laughs> shout out Bulldogs. Wow. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? What I have you... no idea. I think it's just my own amusement. It's That's just, just. You love it. And, and, and <laughs> a lot so of good. the time, and see, a lot of the times uh, I'll get into sort of these uh, these arguments too. Mm, mm. It's. Purposely to to get them angry, mm. but then I'll do myself little challenges like I don't oh. swear in the thing. Oh, I don't yeah. uh, keep uh, it but, super but friendly. I also, also super try. And, I also try to look wow. at facts of things, 
and say, well, but what about oh, this? Geez. What about this? It, wow. Like it's, it's more annoying. You, you are <laughs> actually evil. <laughs> that's, that's like calculated. It's, 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 <laughs> see, it's called sociopathic. Yeah. Yes, okay, yes. And, and yeah. it's smart, funny, so that, that's that's why they got me on the radio. They, they, get, they put all the weirdos either in comedy or radio. You right. Know, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you just have free reign here. Um, well, not, not exactly. I'll probably get... Uh, as far as I know, I have like, I don't know much about this radio station. I've never really heard of it till I was, like, sending out media releases. <laughs> that, as far a, as I know, you've create, you've set up this building yourself. You've told me to come <laughs> along, emailed me out of the blue. You run well, this place. You live uh, here. This is not even going on air. Uh, uh, I'm scared. I, I, I'll, I'll be honest, though, because it was Craig, cause Craig got the... Craig got an email. Craig, from who's Craig? He sounds made he's the up. President. Oh, sure he yeah. is. Yeah, the uh, president. You, the funny thing is, he, he and I have a running joke. Okay. Um, where, like, because I, I go to outside broadcasts. Mm. Every time I go to outside broadcasts. What? Uh, so, oh, like uh, at another radio station. Out, yeah. no, no, just going out to say we're going out oh, to like. Oh, like we're in a like street just, or whatever. Like, like if you at the local uh, mall. Uh, yeah, or, yeah. Or RSL. Yeah, or whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, 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 that's all that stuff. Yeah. Every time I go to an uh, outside broadcast, mm. I always have travel issues. Travel issues. It's my curse. Okay. <laughs> my travel yeah. curse. Yeah. Every time, and I, and I mm. sort of had it today, so. Um, coming out here, sometimes I come out here. I come out here very early. Like I yeah, I you said I'll be here from twelve thirty. I'm like you're not yeah. until two, right? But see, because I, I come in from the city, uh. I never know what's going to be happening on the rail. And this is I learned that from mm. a, from another job I did, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> and doing this as well. Yeah. So um, you, you never know if there's going to be track work. You never yeah, know if there's going to yeah. be um, something or with public yeah, holiday. Yeah. Because I come come here on a Monday. Mm. Well, the times are going to be different. Yep. So and, and today it just wait. You live in another. Time zone? No, no. I, I live in uh, live in Melbourne. Okay. In, in the city of Melbourne. <laughs> right, like, the city of Melbourne. But you just yeah. never know because because uh, it's about forty five minutes. Uh, mm. Where does this up. broadcast to? By the way, is this just local area? It's pretty. Oh, you can get it online, I guess. You can get it online. You can get it. You can download Community Radio Plus app. Hello. Uh, you, you can go around Australia, but mm. um, I don't actually know. But it's pl- what is uh, Plenty like, Valley? I have no, Plenty Valley FM. Epping. Uh, Epping, Mill Park, Mill Park, yeah. But then people traveling. I'm a Hursty boy. Like I grew up on the Hurstbridge line, so. so but that, that's this is we, the wrong side of the track. This is for me. this is where we mostly do outside broadcast. We do right. we do go out that way as well. I uh, think we go out to Craigieburn. Oh yeah, as well. Craigieburn. But like, isn't that where the money they print the money? I went on school excursion to Craigie Bell once <laughs> and I saw where they make the money. So it was awesome. I know my way around Melbourne now, but mm. I'm still learning it. Yes. Like, I'm still brand new to the place. Like, yeah. So that's why hey, you need to get here two and a half hours early. <laughs> make sure you don't get lost. But then, but I'm also that person, not, like, I can't rush into things. I've mm. got to relax myself. I'll come and mm, relax myself. Yeah, yeah. You want to get, get chill, it. find your space. Yeah. And there was no one on before you, hey. That was just like uh, not, auto not spo- radio. Normally there is someone on, but that's the oh. there's a uh, that Mel's is it's on before me. She, oh, she's yeah. all right. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. She, uh, she, uh, she you might, don't have beef. Hey, no. No. Oh, not that I know of. Oh, hello, <laughs> drama. <laughs> if if I if if it what's happens, her name? Mel. Uh, Mel. Okay. Yeah, shut up. Call in Mel if, if you do have any beef. We can sort it out right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't. Like, okay. she, she, she's, she seems all right. Then, yeah. then we got Kath and Dee after me. So that's, okay. Yeah. Nice. And the funny thing is, like, because uh, I've been to other stations too, mm. this one's actually a pretty good station to this listen to. This is the best? Uh, yeah. I, I reckon. I yeah. reckon the one. I reckon it's the I reckon best. Best listeners too, right? Like, if, if you're going, the biggest one, obviously, Triple R in, in the city. Okay. He, he is, here, I reckon, has the best show wise. And that, that's just. Better that, than Triple R? I reckon. <laughs> yeah. I reckon, that's just not for me being. The glove has been thrown, Triple R. But, but that's just me being honest. Like, yeah. Oh, but I, but hey, I'll, that's even more brutal. I'll, but I, I kind of. <laughs> not that, even just saying it. It's yeah. actually true. Yeah, it's. <laughs> but like, if you, if you listen to the show, like, we have. You have your variety. You yeah. Have, and which is what you great for. When you're having comedy, Got guests. you have your variety. You yeah. have your um, people, here. and I think, and I think it's sort of a missed thing. And I, but I think also too, like the stations should sort of work together a little Ooh. bit. That, that's just my I like that my feeling. It's like uh, since you uh, yeah. since you sort of region uh, it's community. You want to all hook up, and I it's love community, that. but it's yeah. also re- regional based. So mm. like I wouldn't mind to say, hey, let's 
uh, for me, for me, it's good I get uh, uh, other people listening. But hey, mm. why not put this out to that other station out yeah. there and see see what people like out there? Yeah. Or why, or why not send a presenter to that station mm. so they can they can improve? That's nice. And yeah, so that's how I, I went from. Around. For me, it was also an improving thing going to other stations as well. Mm. Like, the, how do they do things? Yeah, though? yeah. What what does the different what do audience do good? like? What do they do what does, wrong? Yeah. I mean, what what's the what's the uh, demographic of audience yeah. and mm. and for here I'd, yeah um, who are the li- who listens to your show exactly. like who's listening right now do you get people call in uh, or text in no you have no idea <laughs> I have no who's idea who's listening uh, and, do you and, get and, a figures like stats of how many listeners um, and stuff I think we can no, I don't but know you have how. no idea I mean surely you know people listen to the show I I, I hope so. well, well I, I do wow, know, it's I all do, just hope I do know someone has listened before so mm. when I um, hello to you when I when I did the original show and this, mm. was, this was on a Friday at two to four mm. so um I went in and as at the time Prince Andrews Prince Andrews was in the news he was oh, yeah. all that all that stuff was going down yeah um because on radio you can't outright call him a pedophile ah and I didn't can we now though no. hasn't he been um or Prince Philip no. was King Philip, uh, I don't know. no, no pr- Prince. It was Prince Andrew, but he never oh. got. See, I he, thought he'd he, get convicted in the end. He, he never. Well, he, he paid him off. Ah, uh. so he paid off. The, <laughs> we could see, say that. Um, cause, cause he was never convicted. Uh. we can't say that he was. Oh, uh, we have uh, to powerful. say allegedly. So, well, you can't even say that. Oh, really? Like, cause. You, okay, we can say he was accused of, yeah, you, you, and there you is say, strong yeah, evidence. Well, can we say that? But you can, but it's, you can sort of hear. Can it. I say I believe that he is? Because that's just my opinion. Um, that's not I a fact. Know. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't want to yeah. get sued. To <laughs> yeah, find, me neither. I don't want to find out. If, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm. You'll probably see, get sued if I say see, bad if stuff. You, if you you'll get me, sued. If you ask me off air, yeah, like I'll, I'll give give you a proper answer. Okay, on air. I, like yeah, that, that you, you, that, you're walking like a tight yeah, there's, there's a tight, yeah. there's a tight wrap on there. But anyway, yep. Yep. so you, well, well, we might wrap this up now. So all right, um, <laughs> please uh, promote your gigs. Come see the show. It's it, it's a lot of fun. Um, like you can look it up and see the audience have just been loving it. I just did it in Perth for a few weeks over there. Got a bunch of five star reviews. Um, it's just really like. A good late night. I mean, it's not even that late, but it's really fun, interactive um, theatre that's just feel good, you know. It's feel good comedy that, that pushes boundaries, um, but in a way that's like I look after you, you know. I really want people to have a good, good time and it's really fun. Okay. Yeah. Shark sure. Heist, Motley Bauhaus, Comedy Fest. And, yep. and please come back. Oh, I'll I'll say love that, to. And I'll even say that off air too so yeah. just to make sure it's not, not <laughs> Okay, <big>. sweet. <laughs>